Hi there. Um, I am getting ready to do some more beachy themed stuff. It's cold in New York and it's making my soul happy. So I have a bunch of assorted palettes here to work on. Um, and I'm going to do another one like this on all of these. Some of them might get embellished. Um, this one for sure is getting embellished with some things from my personal collection. This one I'm going to pour into. So I have some wax paper underneath it. Hopefully nothing will bleed through the bottom. Um, this was a Dollar Tree sign in a frame. You can see some of the lettering underneath it, especially on the bottom. So this one is definitely getting some actual beach sand that we brought back from a vacation mixed in. It's a chunky sand, as most Northeast beaches will be. But that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to start by pouring some plain epoxy on each one. I already mixed my epoxy. It's a 2 to 1 epoxy. Or, yeah, 1 to 1 epoxy. I'm using Pearl Marine. Mix half and half and stir until you get the right consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. I am double gloved because it will be easier to just peel off a pair of gloves after I spread the epoxy because I am going to use my hand. I mixed quite a bit of epoxy. I have some other projects on deck that I can use any leftover for. So I have two small canvases. These are a new project, these rounds that I have here. Um, once I have a couple done, I will show everybody what they are. I'm pretty excited about them. Just something I stumbled on that I thought would be good for um, my original intention was like Father's Day type projects. Okay, I do want to have enough of a base to get it to spread. They're sitting on boards on my work surface, just foam core, so it's okay if it flows off a little bit. I'm going to start with this bigger canvas. I don't even know what size it is. It seems to be an odd size. Um, it's a thinner canvas, so I'm hoping that the epoxy doesn't cause it to bow down too much in the middle. It's just, you know, a cheapie. I prepped all of these with and I will show you in a minute when I don't have epoxy on my hand. I use sea paints from Treasures by the Sea. These I literally just ran a stripe of each color of like five or six blues and then two different browns and just blended them together quick. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Just a pretty base color and those paints dry fairly quick um, all of the ones I used were actually from the secrets line which is thinner so you can paint with them or stain with them or layer with them for all kinds of different looks they are a little bit more expensive but a little bit of that goes a long way and to me, it is worth it. Okay. I'll do this little guy. I think this one's a 4 by 6 I can see a little bit of staining where the epoxy sits for a second. But then as I move it around, it's um, going away. So I'm not really concerned about that.
And I didn't take my sweatshirt off, so my sleeves are falling down, making my life difficult. Didn't really mean to drip on the frame, but I am probably going to backtrack and paint the frame because black isn't exactly ideal for beachy anyways. Um, I'm not terribly concerned about spreading the bottom right now because that is going to get a sandy layer mixed in. Because as I said, this one is getting actual natural sand. I'm trying not to get the bottom of this too much. So just hold it on the sides a little bit. I didn't tape the backs of any of these. I'll just come back through and clean them up or sand off any excess. The backs of these are going to get painted when they're done anyways. Part of the backs. Okay. One more. They're just propped up on medicine cups. Everything's propped up. You don't want your epoxy to stick to your surface. The only one that's not propped is the one that's boxed in because that epoxy won't have anywhere to go. Hopefully. Hopefully it won't bleed through too much, but it is on a piece of wax paper that if it bleeds through a little, I'll be able to peel off when it's cured. Okay, I'm going to remove this pair of gloves. And pull my sleeve up again. I'm going to add a little bit to this one. Okay. And then I am going to pop open my sand. I'm going to scoop the sand off camera because I don't want it all over these projects, so I don't want it everywhere. I'm just going to use a little glitter spoon, and I portioned some uh, epoxy into this cup. I'm using quite a bit. Um, I'm maxed out on what the couple holds. I have a cup of tools that I may need during any given project handy because I need a stick to mix. I'm going to mix it over where it's going to go so I don't hopefully make too much of a mess. Maybe one more little chunk. Okay. This one is also going to get some seashells and maybe some stones. I haven't decided on any of the others yet. The small ones aren't getting any kind of embellishment. So I'm going to pour this sand mixture in. And let it spread around. I'm going to keep this cup in case I decide to add sand to any of the others. I hadn't decided on that yet. I'm just going to push the epoxy towards the edges. And I think that'll work just fine on covering up those unwanted letters. I think the sign said home sweet home or something. I really should have sanded the board or um, even put a sheet of vinyl or something over the top of it. But 
I didn't. I just need to push a little more towards the top. Okay, good with that for now. I still need a little tiny bit more drag of white or clear. I don't know why I call it clear white. Okay, I am going to run a torch over all of them quick to pop any bubbles. I'm pretty aggressive when I mix my epoxy, so I do get bubbles. I don't have the patience for stir three minutes switch cups, stir another three minutes. Bubbles are popping. This is also going to heat the epoxy a tiny bit to give it a little bit better flow for the next step. Okay. Oh, I see a couple over here. Alright. Next I am going to mix a cup of white for this. Oh, I forgot to show you the paint. This was just one of the bottles. Treasures by the Sea Secrets. Um, these are what I use for most of my projects. Okay. For my white, I am going to use the White Secret. I found that the weight of it seems to work for this process, so I'm going to go ahead and use that again. When you're adding any kind of paint to your epoxy, you want to be gentle on the amount you use because it will gel your epoxy up like nobody's business. I am also going to use a couple drops of the Pinata White Ink. This one's empty, so I do have this handy dandy little refill bottle. So I'm going to use that. Okay. And then I'm going to mix it. I don't want to mix over my project because I don't want rogue lines as much as possible. Okay, that should be mixed enough. If it's not enough for all of these, I'll just mix a little bit more. The epoxy does darken up the colors on all of these paints a little bit, and I really love the way they look under the epoxy. I'm going to torch these once more real quick, because I can see more bubbles rising. Especially on this one. Um, anytime you introduce any kind of foreign elements like the sand and whatnot, you'll tend to get more bubbles rising. I don't necessarily mind a couple bubbles, especially on a beachy looking, but, um, all I'm going to do is drizzle a tiny bit of just the regular clear epoxy. And, you know, attempt to remember where I drizzled. I'm going to do a very thin line over that of the white mixture. Try and go edge to edge and let it run off. So you don't have, like, little squirrely parts. I'm going to move my cup of tools. I'm going to try and do the same over here. This one is getting embellishments at the bottom. And it's going to get something special added. So, it's only going to get a couple lines. These, the white is probably going to take over quite a bit because they're so small. Um...
I did a heart the other day that um, I'd grab it and show you, but I knocked it off the shelf and can't reach it at the moment. So on these, I will try and go very thin. Maybe I'll add a third line. Now the goal here is that was a little bit heavier line than I would have liked. I can probably scrape some off. They don't have to be straight lines. You're going to move it around with heat I'm going to try and go with a good line right on the edge so I'm going to do that first this one's going to be a little bit trickier because I can't um, go off the edges I think I'm just going to do three bands on this one. This is a project where you should definitely protect your work surface because um, the epoxy is going to run off. Just checking my other little cups of epoxy over here to make sure none of them are getting set up. Because I would like to be able to use the extra for a project later. Okay. So, that's done. I'm going to torch it super, super quick. And then I'm going to use the heat gun. I can add more white if I decide I need it. So hopefully I can keep the cord out of the smaller projects. I'm going to hit this with some heat. And I think that that white's not quite opaque enough. So I'm going to add a touch more of the paint itself. And then maybe another drop of the um, alcohol ink. And then drizzle a little bit more on. I feel like the white's just disappearing. So I'm just going to, I mean, I can see a little bit of lacing that happened, but it's quite faint. So before I go on to the rust, I'm just going to darken those white lines up a bit. I'm just going to run right back over the same lines. Same thing. Try and keep them thin on these. Hopefully some will go over the edges. And a little bit more back in here. You can build layers of waves if you want a dimensional effect. 
um, like you could just do this one and let it cure and then do this one and let it cure and only epoxy each step that far up which gives it a cool effect all right back to the heat Still a little light, but I can see some lacing. I see I got a little gooby I need to get out of that one. This one showed a lot more lacing. So a ton and ton and ton of bubbles popping in this one. I can tell which way this one's on level. Okay. I'm going to pick that piece out. Um, I'm going to let them push up towards the top and then add a layer. Let me even add one little drop 
just to see if it makes a difference of the Illumilite opaque dye. I'm just going to add it to the mixture I've already got started. Put another weight of product in and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to hit this one with the torch and try not to catch it on fire because you will be able to tell where you scorched it some. Okay. Now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. I'm going to drizzle a little more in. Okay, so I'm going to put some of that mixture on this one because I lost all of my weight at the bottom. And also on this one. You can always add more. Um, you can always take away too by scraping it off. On this one, I would have a harder time scraping it off, but I'm not terribly unhappy with it. So I think I'm just going to let it sit as is. I might go in with a popsicle stick and try and push some or just put a little bit more clear in between the lines. And with these ones, you can always push excess right off the edges, which is always nice. Okay. a little hot. Really like what's developing there. I'm going to do a little bit on each of these also. Now you can tell when you scorch your epoxy. So if you've done that, you should try to get a little bit more over the top and maybe not scorch it as much. In the next round. Now I'm going to push some of that white down on that darker spot. On this little one, for some reason, I can actually see the print of the canvas coming through it all. Um, 
which is interesting. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna add a layer slightly underneath each of these, and then I'm gonna call it good. Try and keep it a thin layer this time. And then I'm going to add my little embellishments to whichever ones I feel are going to get the embellishments. I do want to grab this just a little piece of a stick. I want to see if I can push some of it back down on this harsh line. Maybe it'll sit there. Okay. This one is my favorite, and this one is my second favorite, because Mama can play favorites. Okay, I'm going to decorate this one first, because I know exactly what's going on it and where it's getting placed, because I was leaving a little bit of room in the middle. So, I'm going to start with a naturally harvested sand dollar. I haven't decided if I want to let the tops of these things get covered or not. This I'm going to put right in the corner. And then I have a little piece of blue beach glass. Then I'm going to put here. 